and I can remember his mother. I can just picture in front of me. She is saying, "I should make him practice." She says, "He the all practice that he is supposed to." She says, "I should sit with a mosquito bag and write down, no, try you all mosquitoes, but just boy should faithfully practice." You know? And I said, "I can see the fruit now." And that is, he is not playing every day. And at the at the spur of the moment, he just sat at the piano. We played. I said, "Arman, I just want to hear. I cannot play for you." He's such a talented guy. I mean, where music is concerned, and he has this passion for acoustic. There, after that, one day we had a jam in his place, Lorna and myself, and we just went. Okay, well, Lorna started singing, and Armando was there, and Shai was there also, and we just started jamming. And I think that's the time we, that's what I feel. He had this idea of why don't we have an unplugged concert? The roots was at that particular jam, I think. Then we jammed in a place with a lot of unplugged. Because Abhishek had been singing the band, the regular band, but that's pretty really electronic and with brass. And today we are coming to do this concert which is unplugged. You know? So it was rooted then, and today we are come to have Carlos and Rocky by our side, which my brother Bosco and Blasco do this unplugged. Mm -hmm. I would like to talk a little bit about the Vaikal Paul song. Arman and Shyam had come to Bombay, and he invited one, me one day to have breakfast with him. Place that you stay. He just went and had a casual meeting of breakfast. So he said, "Why don't you do something for Goa? The liberation day is coming in 19. So why don't you compose a song, a team song?" So there on I said, uh, "Let's go for it, Arman." I came back home and I just started working on the song. I composed the tune and I said, uh, "I want someone, a lyricist, who can write to the meter." I had a theme of mind in mind that what I want to write for the Goa Kappa song. So I passed on the theme to this great talented, very mute, very soft-spoken musician all around us, Rocky Lazarus. He took the theme and the way he put the lyrics into that uh, melody of mine, it took the song to a different level altogether. And the song was out, and I presume that I'll have about eight to twelve singers on board. And our station in Bombay, so I said, Rocky, you take it forward from here. Pass on the mantle to Arman. I said, Arman, Arman, shine forward to Rocky. And you won't believe that song. We have 38 singers. I think Rocky, 38, 32. Although 38, we shot it for a few because there was not enough time. So we have 32 singers, and I think that song really took off. One of the only thing I wrote a good song. I think a lot of lot of people turn around and say that's virtually the anthem of Goa. I'm sure you have heard the song. Have you heard the song? Why that one? We will we will play it for you. It's got over a million hit song on YouTube, and uh, we just play it later. Yeah, so of course. So that was that regarding the Goa Kappa song. Uh, I would like to say a few things of my my brothers here, Bosco and Dasko. Bosco has been a trumpeter. He started at a very young age playing trumpet, and he learned under my father. My father was a monster. He was called a Harry James of. Bombay at that time in the early 30s. So my father taught Bosco playing the trumpet, and he really worked hard playing the trumpet. Literally like all tough Harry James books he used to do. And uh, my eldest brother Joseph he used to play violin, learn under Mark, Michael Martin. So he used to just watch Bosco playing the trumpet, and without any time taking the trumpet in his hand, he sort of learned. He was self-taught trumpeter, watching Bosco play. You know. So he's another brother of mine who plays the trumpet. Bosco has played with some greats like the Three Banks, Kras and Salvas, and besides the Montserrat brothers, we have done a lot of shows. Blasco has played with some great musicians, music directors. He was the leading trumpet player of Kerala in uh, uh, what do you call it, Chennai. And both of them were the main brass section for R.B. Kumar and Lakshmi Kerala and all of the music directors in Bombay. One side. I learned the trauma through Ronnie. Ronnie was a taught me the trauma, the slide trauma. That's why I'm today playing my trauma. So you won't, you trauma. won't believe it. I don't, I don't know anything about the trauma. I pulled him to Delhi when I was in Delhi. I said, "Let's learn, let's do learn the trauma." I took a tutor of trauma, and I started studying the trauma. What the first, second, third position, no? And with that guidance. I helped him to learn the trombone, you know, pitching ear, this, that, this, that. You know. That's how he learned the trombone. So, and guitar also he started learning the guitar, the classical guitar. So, so just solve, self-taught, which I guided him and 
started developing on the school too. And that's how, I mean, we have seven brothers, two sisters. My eldest brother plays the trumpet. I'm second, boss, uh, Roddy, I play the piano. Bosco's third plays the trumpet. My fourth brother is the drummer, Rex Monserrat. He, he passed away a couple of years back. Then comes Blasco, who plays the trombone. Then I have two sisters and two more brothers. The other one plays the saxophone and the other one guitarist. They are the gala. So we have seven brothers, two sisters with the Monserrat family, which I think so is a band in the world. Maybe the, probably the only band that has so many musicians in one family for one brand. So I think it's a great day my, from my father. My father, when he had seven brothers, he says, I want to complete the octave. So it was not complete unless he has the eighth one. So after seven brothers, five brothers, two sisters, he had. The seventh one, five, six, seven, eight one was a brother of mine that was born. So he named it Octaves. But then he said, I completed my octave. <laughs> so that's how he was, he was named Octaves. And that was lying to the flat. So that's part of the belief of the monster. There's a lot of things to talk about it, but don't mean up there. Let's sit on any videos from Cup, Shine, Carlos, Rocky. If you can say something about the song, maybe maybe a few lyrics that can, you know, maybe the, maybe the chorus, just share the lyrics with that. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for this honor to be part of Go Off Game and Go Off Happy uh, Action Group. And uh, the legendary gentlemen are pioneers for, or they are pioneers for Congress and me. They are the Masarath brothers. We've grown up listening to their music. So it's a very heart touching day and it's an emotional moment to be. Uh, brushing shoulders with them tomorrow and today we are going to hear for the first time I hope I can live up to the expectation I am a double bassist for Goa Symphony Orchestra I also play for German Philharmonic um, that's classical music I also play Google and Darwin and some instruments it's not enough to be worthy of the expectations I'm trying my best today my friend here Carlos is a very strong professional we play together for uh, many years and I thank Armando and Shine for this opportunity and waiting for the Viva Lana who have grown up listening to her. The girl who will be coming uh, uh, to assist Lana is, uh, we call her the, uh, the next Lana. She looks like a bit like her and she is a surprise. We just uh, booked her now and she was kind enough to cancel the show tomorrow. About the song, uh, Ronnie so I called me out and said, I need cut to cut lyric. Cut to cut is a term used in Bollywood. Wherein <laughs> we say, By the kuch, yeah, kuch alag karke dikana hai. Kuch alag karenge. This is the Bombay phrase in the industry. So here we need something alag. But we were in meter. Meter means when you have a fixed rhythm, you have to set lyric to it. That is one of the assignments for your Trinity College. And Royal College of Music Theory Papers, cut to cut lyric writing. But it should be syntax wise correct and uh, it should also have musical uh, appeal. So, just things like uh, challenging things for the articles which are the and which were, you should not come on the strong beat, they are called anacrusis. The ta, the coconut. For example, so the things like this have to be very careful, but I wrote it, I think, within an hour because they gave me the his late dear wife. She gave the first word, she said, Rocky, make it a positive song, hurt no one in the song. I kept that at the back of my mind. There is not one word which is saying anything negative in, to anybody in that song. That was the foundation of the song. From there on, everything went on. And the word Tamadi Mati was his brainchild. I use the word Tamadi Mati. Mashi going Chikai Mati has somewhere in the hills where I was born and all. It's okay. Tamadi Mati is a bigger of speech and it immediately wells up tears in the eyes of the Goan diaspora. So we wrote the song. What about the Tamadi Mati I asked him? And then Ronnie said, Say it is ours. It belongs to us. And he had already sent a tune, ta 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 ta, and the words came like a cloudburst. 
गोरीची तळवणी माती आमची इन बारोक म्युझिक वी हॅव समथिंग नोन एज अ रुपेतो इट्स अ ग्रुप ऑफ नोट्स इट्स कॉल्ड अपवर्ड टर्न द लोअर टर्न तारी री रेरु रेरीड तळवणी माती आई पुट अ ग्रुप ऑफ हाफ एंड पुट अ मॉडर्न ऑन टॉप ऑफ इट बिकॉज ही हॅड ऑलरेडी डन इट एंड आई स्लॉट ऑफ बेस्ट मेलिस्मा वेर आई कुड गेट which word i can stretch so tamadi was a very difficult challenging word because the red red is one syllable red and tamadi i have to stretch it to three syllables only way was to stretch the uh, the tamba the a so tamba song is sounding like tambadi mati but this a musical license is given to a lyricist is called poetic license we used it to the best and uh, many people wrote to me afterwards saying you should have done this in the second line purvas ani amga dilli mati we wrote somewhere reiteration is not allowed in lyrical writing but here it worked to our advantage because mati we used to wise somebody from bangalore got okay fantastic word you have put marti he said because bangalore people heard it as marti mad means necklace and goa outland is like a necklace no the so, name So I said to Ronnie, we have to do a major in the lyric. You say the ancestors gave us this beautiful necklace of Goa. So officially we have changed one word in the song now since the last word. So things like this. And then he asked me, Shyam asked me, can we get the top singers of Goa to sing? I said it's very very difficult because they are top because each one thinks they are top. That's <laughs> so since I have been uh, associated with everyone around. Uh, I put in a word, and uh, because of Ronnie and uh, Shine and Arman, they came together. I would not be able to gather them together. We recorded them at Dona Paola Studio of Shubhat Kotha, who kindly gave the studio. Also, some studios were incorporated. And the best thing was everyone came and sang from their hearts and didn't charge anything. That is the spirit of Goa. Not that we don't respect time. This was priceless. We could not pay those singers because they were professionals. They might have charged a lakh each, but they came not once, twice, but seven times for till the video shoot. That was the spirit of Goa. Thank you. Are there any questions? We take those. Yeah. Now the gentleman has to leave. Yes. Uh, any questions? Those who want to have a longer conversation will stay back. Any questions? Have... You should have. If there are any questions, we ask the gentleman. Why Lona didn't come? Lona is not feeling too well. She came late night yesterday. It's an age, but she will be there at Gonzalez Mansion at what's the time? At five. At five o'clock. We'll be able to send some pictures of her. Yeah, yeah, we'll be sending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of the practice session, everything will be there. But if any of you would like to come and speak to her at five o'clock, she's she'll be there. It's more tiredness more than anything else. So we have to also manage. We'll send a nice picture of her and the gentleman. So that you can send. Yes, we'll do that. I'm just trying to close up a little bit. All hat here. Just give a little time to start a conversation. So I mean, like it's a dream come true. Like you know, I met Arman Boy and he said, "Let's do something." And he said, "Let's go like and he, and they told me that Montserrat is part of the family. And I always had a dream. I used to when I was young to watch them, hear them in the dream. So it's my honor and pleasure to be with Arman." The dream of the rocky, and all this, you know, to keep our goal. My only stand is to keep Goa together in the language. It's a universal language. What else? Music. So we go in and part of the world. It's one language for us. And I'm so happy and glad to be with this family, you know. And I don't have words. Thank you very much. Just one small uh, slide. Arman, the concept was of Arman, so, but I want to thank Shine very, very, very much for putting this whole act together. She did it all by herself. I mean, I mean coordinating and I know what all. But Shine, let me say a very big thank you to you, Shine. Yeah, but uh, I also got a huge support from the whole action here, uh, heritage action group, Karan Mr. Also assisted with a lot of. Uh, Kamal Sodom was really good, and of course we have also uh, uh, this cannot be uh, happened by without thanking uh, the Art and Culture Ministry of Goa, um, uh, 
Mr. Govind Gaude has been at, he was excited. It's an armchair law analysis. I have to support you because we have, we have yeah, armchair law and, and even though the show is small, the, the, the outlays are heavy. Because, because uh, many times Ronnie has come and performed, you know, the, the song he didn't charge us, so, so many things in time. But he said, Arma, this is a time, you know, it's, it's a big event in terms of spirit. And, you know, we have to pay him well. So we have said we have to pay these people well. And that's part of our pride because we are not doing this as a business. This is not a business at all, it's about art, culture and music. I think most of you know what we do and what we have done over the years. And of course, most importantly, I'll close with that. Any other questions you have, please go ahead. Thanks to the media. Thanks to the media, which has always been fabulous. Thank you so much. I think most of the media will be leaving, but I think you all see and we can have a chat. Ah, no. So if you stay, but let them be just let everyone else see. Okay, like. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much. And I think you all see share with it.